We deserve better. We deserve better than the ANC once celebration giant across the Africa continent has turned into the oppressor of its own people. It is about time that we completely write off the ANC as a party of the past and not the party of our future. A relic of the past that is completely disinterested in the liberation of its people from the clutches of poverty. Democrats, make no mistake, South Africa is no longer at a crossroads. The ANC has brought us to a free fall of destruction. Uninzi Luabandu Be to Bapila and get three hundred and fifty years more Lelo. This is not a solution to the crisis of joblessness. We know the indignity of Ugunga Binam Sebenzi, the anguish of young people who have lost any hope of finding work, who rely solely on their parents' old age grant for their basic needs. This is not the future that was promised to South Africans. Abandu bafunu kuz pangelela, bagwa zuza kelu bomi, kodwa lo kulmende sinao, ungo shoshe sabo. As we speak, Democrats, the country is languishing in perpetual blackouts due to the broken ESCOM that was looted and brought to its knees by ANC cadres. Small businesses are shutting their doors, sending more and more people into the unemployment queues. Hospitals cannot save the lives of people due to blackouts. Continuous power cuts have started to affect the provision of water at base basic human rights. No business can thrive in this environment. No business can provide the much needed jobs in the current climate in South Africa. The dream of a better life has turned into a nightmare. Aba ninze ape mzanz Afrika ba pila ka pshungu besilwa injala. More than 50% 30 million South Africans are living in abject poverty. Akukho kutya, akukho mbane, akukho manzi, akukho misebenzi. The cost of fuel has risen to unprecedented levels. This has meant that the average South African, it takes them, it costs them more to go to work and go buy food or go look for a job. This has meant that the cost of food has risen to unprecedented levels. Abandu ba ninza ba sakwazu no kutenga no kukunindi. Abandu ba ya fa inja lukulmende we ANC e bukele. This is why the DA tabled concrete proposals in Parliament in order to cushion South Africans against the rising cost of living. We demanded that government slashes fuel levy and extend the list of zero VAT rated goods. This proposal was meant to go a long way to save people from sheer hunger and desperation. And you know what they said, Democrats? The ANC government refused. They refuse because they are not affected by the choices they make in government. Ministers don't need to buy their own petrol. They are driven in luxury. Ministers don't need to buy their own houses. They get given two houses fitted with a generator to shield them from load shedding. Ministers don't have to worry about their safety every night like you and I because they are guarded 24 hours a day by security everywhere they go. This is why this government is out of touch. The greatest irony, Democrats, the ANC has dubbed 2023 as the year of Charlotte Makleke. Charlotte Makleke is famously remembered as having said, this work is not for ourselves. Kill the spirit of self and do not live above your people. This is the antithesis of the party the ANC has become. Even its former president, Tabombegi, penned a scathing letter to the ANC for their shameless, indefensible conduct in Parliament. 
He boldly calls them the violators of constitutionalism. We can no longer afford to have this party in the union buildings. Mabambe. They have shamelessly stole money that was meant to provide better healthcare services for people during COVID-19. Billions were stolen during state capture, which still continues under President Ramaphosa today. Billions have been stolen in local municipalities and metros instead of providing basic services. If a party can steal money, that is allocated Democrats for the funeral of Nelson Mandela, then you know it has lost any moral compass whatsoever. But Democrats, this is why we need a strong DA. This is why we need a united DA. This is why we need a determined DA. This is why we need communities to unite behind the DA. We need a party that will be able to provide a viable alternative to the millions of South Africans who are fast losing faith in the political system and in our democracy. The future of South Africa Democrats is intricately linked to the future and the growth Yalombuto way to. We are less than a year away from an election that will be remembered for years to come. It can either be the election that hastened the destruction of South Africa or the election that stemmed the free fall. It will be the election that brought to life the promise of 1994. We have a duty to represent the 30 million South Africans who are living in poverty. We have a duty to fight for the seven out of 10 young people who are without work and who are giving up every day. But we can only do so, and we can only bring this difference as we bring about the dear difference in many many areas like around the country, but we can only do so Democrats if we grow. Now let's go out there, let's do our bit to save South Africa. Viva DA, viva! viva!